Hello sports fans, it is I, Noma, here with another card opening video for you. I hope you're having an awesome day so far, and that this video will make it even more awesome. So we are going out of town today, and I thought I had recorded my last video before we leave. However, I just saw that this arrived last night. I have not opened any of this product on the channel. I have not opened any of this product, period. So I don't really like this product. <laughs> I have not had good luck with this product. I usually open a couple every year and um, have never gotten anything good. Um, one year I did buy a case of it and I got a one of one Dennis Eckersley mini uh, card out of the veteran uh, series. Um, I just don't like it. it. You only get one card. It's a guaranteed auto, but there's a lot of junk autos in it. So, yeah, for the money, I would rather buy a hobby box or something that's on sale. Typically, you can't buy like a brand new hobby box for the same cost, but you can buy, you know, an older product hobby box that might have an auto and it's going to have a lot more cards, etc. I just like a little bit of a longer rip. However, a friend of mine on Sports Card Forum has been opening this and he got a one of one Acuna and a one of one Trout over the course of three boxes <laughs> now. This is total example of the gambler's fallacy, which is if I've done poorly, I'm about to do well when actually my odds are exactly the same every single time. Uh, or if my buddy hits big, I'm going to hit big, yada, yada, yada. So the odds are very low that this is going to do anything. But since we haven't left yet and I've got a little time to kill, I thought I'd open it for you. And since I do like a longer video, boom, we got a few more packs to open. Um, these are closet finds <laughs> if you are a fan of the channel. You know that every now and then I will, I have a not very well organized closet where I keep all my cards. And um, from time to time, I am either making a feeble attempt to organize it or I am looking for something. And in the process, I will find some things I didn't know were in there. That has happened a few times. So these are some stray packs from some hobby box that I was ripping at some point, uh, probably before I had the channel. And um, this one feels like it's got a relic in it. So we've been having really good luck lately. This one feels a little thick as well, which means it might be a, a um, actually this one a little bit as well. So I'm pretty sure we've got at least one relic. We might have a refractor as well. So that's cool. I'm going to open those after we open this. So this will be just a little quick video for you guys, but hopefully we'll hit something really big in here and hopefully in here as well. So it'll be a, uh, a quick but awesome rip. And if you're having fun with the Noma Loves You channel, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Please give me a like on the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, please leave comments. I love getting comments on the videos as long as they're positive and constructive. If you don't like the video, just move on. There's plenty of other things for you to watch on YouTube. You don't need to you don't need to add any negativity to the channel. This is a family-friendly, positive, life-affirming channel. That's what we do here. Okay, so I'm going to actually cover this up so that we can't see what it is. <clears throat> we'll do a nice slow reveal. And I hope that we all enjoy this. My my expectations are extremely low. So these are always encased. Oh, I have this upside down. These are always encased. You're always gonna have the little um, signature series holding the top loader. Now the, the top loader is going to be just a regular, not top loader, one touch. It's just a regular one touch with the sticker on it. Obviously, if you break the sticker, it's gonna go down in value unless you send it away to PSA. I have seen some of these get cracked and sent off to PSA. So up to you what you want to do. This is going to be a Bowman card. So that's kind of interesting. At first I thought this was the front and that was a catcher, but it's not. It's a Bowman card. I don't recognize the player yet. It is to 10. Two out of 10. It's a Pittsburgh Pirate. And it's going to be Austin Meadows. So yeah. Womp womp. That is exactly why I do not like this product because this card is not worth anything near the cost of the box. Now, it's very often true in our hobby that you will buy something uh, and not get anything of equal value in, in it. That's often true. But with this 
high-end stuff where you only get one card, it's like, yes, you can hit a $1,000 card, but you can also hit literally nothing, and that's usually what happens. So unless I win the lottery and buy a case of this and open it for you guys, which would be, wow, a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, I think I have one more on its way, if I remember correctly, so I'll do that for you guys when I get back from my trip. That's a cool card. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to be opening a whole lot of this. I'm just, I'm not into it. I don't like it. But like I said, partly because I don't want to just be opening the same old product for you guys all the time, and partly because my buddy hit something and it just got me itching to open when I saw that Bowman and I saw that to 10, I got excited, but Austin Meadows not gonna not gonna get it done, unfortunately. But that's part of the deal, you know. I have opened some huge cards here recently on the channel, and this just proves that my channel is not juiced up in any way. I'm not finding some way to only open stuff that I know has something good in it. I have I have just as much an idea as you do when I open something, whether it's going to be good or not. And if you go through the channel, there's there's just as many little fun rips with Noma that have nothing exciting in them as there are big cards. So we'll just have to see. Since this is a small opening, I'll go ahead and put Tom Seaver in the orchestra. That's just a pretty card. I've opened more than plenty of this product, so I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on the cards that are not big because you guys have seen all these cards by now it's just these are on sale and they've got the julio in them they've got the uh torque they've got the bobbies so you can get some really big stuff now these both feel pretty stiff i think this is going to be a relic and i think that this is going to be a refractor so Take a look. Bailey Ober on the back. He's having an amazing season. Oh, I was wrong. I was sure this was a relic, but it's it's not. Just a really thick, heavy pack. Weird. Huh, okay. I was pretty sure there was a relic in there, but nope. Okay, last pack. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic here. Just a quick little fun video. Hope you enjoy it. And we will be getting a Wander Auto rookie. Wow. Okay. Well, last pack magic indeed. Obviously, a, a auto would be nice. I've never pulled a Wander Auto, but I've never pulled a Wander Relic either. And that is really nice. Now, his base card is in the... Uh, base 2022 heritage his base rookie card uh but he does have an insert in high number and obviously he has a bat heritage collection relic in high number so i'm glad that i open all these together that definitely takes the bad taste out of my mouth on the the austin meadows that's a nice card really like that it's it's well centered the corners are good He's got an awesome look on his face. I kind of feel like they probably photoshopped this picture against that background. But who cares? It's awesome. Got the little RC designation. He's killing it right now. So um, when, when 2022 Topps Heritage Base first came out, I pulled um, a couple super short prints of his rookie. Again, no autos, but I did pull the error variation, and I did pull the, um, I'm trying to remember, I'll have to go look in there. There's a blank back, which I think is the error, and there's something else, it's some kind of weird variant, border or something or other. You'll have to forgive me, it's very early in the morning, I'm just waking up early for our trip, and I noticed that archives box and wanted to open this stuff for you guys. There's a one short print in here which is the Lewin Diaz. So anyway, yeah, I did I did pretty good on the, the Nomar rookies. Um, but again, still no... Oh, there's another short print that I didn't even notice. Nick Allen rookie. Um, where was I? <laughs> I'm trying to have too many conversations at once here. Um, yeah, 
I did really well. I think I, no, here's what it is. I have a black border of his rookie and I have the error variant, which with the blank back, both of which are very rare, huge cards, but I still have never gotten the elusive wander auto and I'm just dying to get it. But maybe this is foretelling, foreshadowing the fact that I got a, a relic. That's huge, 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 huge. Love that card. Wonderful. All right, so we got the Nick Allen short print, the Lewin Diaz short print, by which I mean, just in case you haven't watched all my other videos, anything numbered 700 or higher in this product is going to be a short print, one in every three packs. So I believe we opened, one, two, three, four, we opened either five or six packs. So yeah, pretty much right on target with that. Seaver insert, CJ Abrams insert, Yepes rookie, I love that card. I've commented before on, on the channel that, you know, the ball is just arriving as the foot is going down. That was a bang, bang play at first. And nice job on the photographer catching that. That's an awesome, awesome card. Hunter Green starting to figure it out. He's doing great. Austin Meadows, I don't even know what to do with this. I guess I'm putting it on my for trade list. So if you, if you want to trade for this card, <laughs> let me know. And I'm happy to trade it to you. But the big one, is going to be this and very happy with that card. That's, that's rad. Love that card. Very, very cool. So again, I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. I hope that you will uh, like this video and comment. Let me know if you want me to open more of the archive signatures, or if you'd rather that I invest in other things to open for you guys. Please uh, do comment if you have a positive comment about this card or anything else. And I hope that you're having a good day. If you're not, hang in there. It will get better. Keep coming back for more fun baseball card opening and more positivity. That's what we're all about here at Noma Loves Ya. We really appreciate all the support everyone's been giving. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by Independence Day. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscription. Hit the notification bell so you know that I'm sending you new content every day. And whatever else is going on in your life, good, bad, or in between, just remember... Noma loves ya. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for stopping by.